afternoon, there's a rush to repair Duxbury seawall ahead of this next storm. WBZ's Anna Myler got an up-close look at the damage and the work underway. Not only were these homes seriously damaged by the nor'easter, but you can see where part of the seawall collapsed as well. Crews are now taking emergency measures to fortify it before the next high tide. The race is on to make repairs to the seawall in Duxbury. Large pieces of the wall have collapsed, leaving these already damaged oceanfront homes exposed. They are in grave danger. Um, that's one of the reasons we're doing this right now. We don't want to have these seas, these homes get washed out to sea. The seawall was seriously damaged by the powerful nor'easter that slammed the coast Friday. On Cable Hill Way, a huge section is missing, and a breach in the area of Bay Avenue led to more flooding overnight. That storm. I have been told by people who lived through it and worked through it and was worse than the 78 storm. And there's severe erosion behind these homes on Ocean Road North. Where we're standing now is typically filled with about four to five feet of dirt or fill. Uh, but the coastal erosion that we've been experiencing has taken a lot of that material and drawn it out to sea. That's why crews are using heavy machinery to haul boulders to the beach to shore up the seawall. Working diligently between high tides, the next nor'easter on their minds. It's the last thing on earth any of us want. We want to make sure that people are safe, people out of harm's way, and we want to try to minimize the impact that we've already experienced. The town manager tells me this is just the short-term solution. The long-term solution will be a full replacement of the seawall. Reporting from Duxbury, Anna Myler, WBZ News.